Okay, question 10. Um, again, we've got a function of a function. With this one, you're better off writing this as the power half to start with. Okay, so square root, power half. Differentiate the outside then, so dy dx, bring the power down. And of course, you take one away from that power to be minus a half, times it then by the derivative in here, so that becomes 10x minus 3. Okay, so you differentiate inside here. There's two terms, differentiate, of course, and you end up with two terms on the outside, differentiate it. Put it in a bracket, it's really important. And then to finish off then, you need to, that goes on the top, on the bottom then to bring this down. And also, because it's power half, you can write that as a square root then. Remember, try and do things like this because you want to get all the marks and they, they usually ask to simplify. Now, um, part two. Okay, um, you've got here um, y equals um, sine to the minus 1, 7x, right? Now, you can use the answer in your formula. You can use the formula, sorry, in the formula booklet to, to do this, right? If you go to the formula booklet on the differentiation page, it's got sine to the minus 1 of x as the function, and then its derivative is this, okay? That's, that's basically what you get in the formula booklet. Um, so we can use this then to our advantage here, dy dx, okay? Literally follow this, will be 1 over square root, 1 minus x squared. Now, but be careful though, because this is x squared, x is relating to this. In this case now we've got 7x, so you need to not just square the x in this case now, we've got 7x, you can just square that, okay? Okay, so effectively you're replacing x with 7x, but you've got to square it, okay? Could square the seven as well. Don't forget then, it's a function of a function, so you've got to times it then by the derivative in here, which is seven, okay? So you end up having seven on the top, on the bottom then one, take away then and um, square this, work that out, 49x squared, okay? Right, and then part three then, um, you've got in this question, part three, y equals e to the 3x ln x. So in this case now, first time we've seen this a product rule. Okay, so two functions times in together. We've seen quotient so far. Okay, so in a way, product's a little bit nicer, a little bit less work. So call them u and v, du dx is then differentiate this. Well, e to the 3x stays the same, doesn't it? But you've got to times it then by the derivative, which is three. Okay, derivative of the inside function. And then, to v dx, well, we know ln x derivative is just 1 over x, okay? So then product rule um, is du dx is v du dx, just like the quotient rule, but there's an add there, so it's a bit easier. We're not dividing by v squared, don't need to do that. ln x then times this, okay? Plus then this times this. All right, and then just to finish off, we need to simplify it so it factorizes out the e to the 3x. 